Hello, this is Rafiq again, and uh, in this video, I'll show you how to start a new project, a Java project using NetBeans. So uh, first, you can go to File Menu, and then New Project. Keep this as it is, a Java application. Click Next. Now select the, the project name. Hello project and then click finish by the way this is the link to the or the path to your folder to the project so here let me show you that this project will be saved by default in the document folder on your computer and then go to NetBeans let me show you here here are the project and this is the right project that we want to work on. So this is the default and this is the default path. Okay. Now we can start working on a project. Here are the, the files related to your project. And as you know, the Java file is uh, here is hello project with the extension dot Java J A V A dot Java. This is the uh, package, package name, uh, as you can see it here, and then source package, and this is the main name of the project that we are working. Uh, as we mentioned, that the uh, each, uh, Java has at least one class in it and has just one main method. The main method is the most important part and uh, any project without main will not be executable so if you want to uh, do a project that can be run by itself then you have to have the main method in it so the main where the compiler can start looking for the statements and start executing statement by statement here so the main is the main hub that can connect your program to other sub programs or other uh, classes and uh, start of the main and this is the end of the main so these braces uh, are very important to uh, notify the compiler that this is the beginning of the main and this is the end of the main as we can see here this is uh, the beginning of the class and underneath we can see the end of the class so remember we can start writing the first statement here and as you know uh, every statement must be terminated by a semicolon that's how to tell the compiler that this is this is the end of the statement a statement hello hello or just hello and uh, you see that at the end of each statement there is semicolon without this there there will be a syntax error the compiler will not uh, be able to recognize this statement or to separate this statement from any other statement. So now uh, you can run the code. Here is the way of running the code. So just press here on this play button and you can see the output underneath here uh, as a result. And this is the hello statement. If you have one more statement, I can say the same thing and here. In, uh, we can say week one example and here I am using the print line uh, here print with a new line so each sentence or each word will be in this in, in different line so in other words it's not each word each uh, string or each message will be in a separate line so let's run this one and we'll see hello in uh, the first line and week one example in the second line. If you want uh, to uh, do both of them on the same line, then you can print it without new line. So after printing the hello, uh, the cursor will keep staying uh, at the end of the word hello. So let me run this code again. So I can see hello and week one example right away without even a space. So if we want any spaces, then uh, I can add the space here or I can add a, a, a comma 
that can be displayed on the output screen. So this is the thing, and this is exactly how uh, what I uh, uh, taught you in the previous lesson. Print and print line. Print will be will print the message and keep the cursor in at the end of this message. But with print ln, print with new line, the the message will be printed and then the cursor will move to the next line. So yeah, again, you can save it either by clicking here, save all, or whenever you are running this code, then it will be saved uh, right away. So now uh, your project will be saved in the same folder that I showed you. So uh, this is the first program, and this is how to start and save your work, how to run it, and You'll... For more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to be the first one receiving the latest video.